The Swedish royals are among the latest victims of COVID-19. The Swedish royal courts confirm that Gustav of Sweden, King Carl XVI and his wife, Queen Sylvia, have tested positive for the coronavirus. The king and queen are in their 70s and were fully vaccinated along with booster shots. Both of them have mild symptoms and have isolated in the home according to the current rules of conduct and infection tracking in the country. The king and queen of Sweden have joined a growing list of European royalty who've tested positive in recent weeks. That includes Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, Princess Beatrix of the Netherlands and Princess Anne of Britain. Meanwhile in Germany, the government is considering tightening existing restrictions on social contact. Chancellor Olaf Scholz is due to meet regional leaders to discuss the response to the spread of the Omicron variant. Daily infections in Germany have been declining since December after the introduction of tight measures, but Germany has a relatively low rate of vaccination compared with other Western European countries. A little over 71% of the population is fully vaccinated. 39% have received a booster shot. Well, we can cross now to our correspondent, Trent Murray, who's joining us live from Berlin. And a good place to start, Trent, would be with the infection case number situation in Germany. I was talking about how case numbers had declined since December. But recently, there's been concern about Omicron, just like we've seen in other countries. Yeah, that's right, Oli. I think uh, like much of Europe, leaders here are seeing a bit of a jump in the data and are now trying to chart a new course forward um, with Omicron. You are right, Germany had seen um, a bit of a plateauing, if you like, of its COVID data. But what we are now seeing over the past few days is that things are starting to tick up once again. The latest numbers from today suggest that there are close to 59,000 new infections. Now, that is about a 47% increase compared to the same day last week. We're clearly showing things uh, are going back up in the wrong direction, if you will. And the health minister here, in fact, says the number is likely to be much higher. And that is because there is still a backlog from the Christmas and New Year period when a lot of local health authorities uh, took some time off and, and were not reporting data daily. And so he thinks that, in fact, it could be two to three times higher. And he's concerned that the federal health ministry now doesn't really have a very clear picture of the COVID situation across the country. Speaking in the past few hours, Karl Lutterbach has said because of that, a further tightening of restrictions is, is likely for Germany. But in order for that to happen, he will have to get it past 16 regional leaders right across the country. They will all be meeting on Friday with Chancellor Olaf Scholz uh, to war game where to take Germany next in its fight against COVID-19. Well, let's uh, go there then, Trent. W what exactly are those leaders going to be discussing in terms of possible new restrictions and, and what chance we see them agreed to by those leaders? Well, it's a very good question, and I think it's one that a lot of German people will be asking because Germany really uh, has been the opposite, I suppose you could say, in being bullish with COVID rules. It really has kept pretty strict regulations in place now for close to 12 months. I mean, things like masks have been mandatory in most public spaces for about a year. Uh, vaccine passports have long been required to go to restaurants or bars or the gym, even now to ride public transport. So in many ways, uh, there are fewer and fewer levers, I suppose, to pull for legislators when it comes to COVID restrictions. Uh, there is some discussion that a controversial vaccine mandate could be on the cards. Certainly when Chancellor Olaf Scholz was sworn into office last month, uh, he suggested that was something that he would support. Obviously, uh, a controversial move, essentially forcing people to be vaccinated. But that is one measure that is being considered. Um, but what we have seen over the course of this pandemic is that Getting agreement on some of those big questions can be difficult. It's, it's, it's hard enough when you've got a, a government of just your own party making these decisions, but it's worth remembering the change of government in Germany over the past month or so uh, now sees a coalition of three separate parties. The SPD, which is the traditional centre-left one, the Greens, and then this kind of small government pro-business FDP all have got quite different views on how to tackle the pandemic. Uh, and so it will be 
a difficult next uh, couple of days, I would say, for Olaf Scholz as he prepares both the regions and his own federal government for possible restrictions. Okay, Trent, thank you. That's Trent Murray reporting for us live from Berlin.